going on? Audio here, and I'm bringing you Destiny gameplay. Funny story is that as soon as I recorded this gameplay, um, five minutes after it, um, the Destiny servers went down for good until the ninth when the actual game comes out. You know, I neglected to record this gameplay for about the week of Destiny, and you know, I decided the last day to just basically record it. Now. Uh, I just recorded the gameplay right now. This is basically a lot of commentary, so I'm sorry if like I sound um, like I don't know like I just did it there. Um, um, yeah, and all that. You know, I know you guys don't like that. I'm usually set for these kind of things, but today I wasn't. You know, I haven't posted a video in a, in a week or so, and I just needed something. Um, as you can see, I'm riding around in this tank kind of thing. OP for beta. It was OP as hell. I'm telling you right now, if you play the beta, you knew that this thing was OP. You did not want to mess with this. It's a one shot. It, it, it was a beast, I'm telling you. That, that, I think that's what they should name it. The beast. Just the beast. Because this thing was a beast. Um, the only thing that could probably take it out was another tank, or unless you were supercharged, or just a lot of shots from combined attacks from everybody around the map on your team. Um, you know, Destiny was one of those games where as soon as you, as soon as you got out of the game type, or as soon as you left the game, you just wanted to come back. It just sucked you in. Sorry about that. If you guys heard Skype in the background, it you just it just sucked you into the gameplay altogether. And that's one of the games. That's what I look for into a game. You know, this was probably the fifth beta I've ever played of a game, and um, I find it kind of special to know that I play the game before anybody. Like you usually see people go to events, spend hundreds of dollars, or YouTubers who just get to play the game for free for publicity for that game. And, um, you know, it, it feels satisfying to know that you played it before a lot of people. You know, a lot of people did play the beta, um, like millions probably, but there are some people who did it, and it, it feels special to play it knowing that some people did it and they wanted to. And, you know, that that's a privilege to play, that Destiny gave us a privilege. Um, this video was basically for me to talk about was Destiny worth it, is it worth it, um, is it good or not. Is it good? 100% yes. Is it worth it? 100% yes. What am I getting? I'm getting the Ghost Edition for it, which is 150. It brings an actual life-size ghost, um, ghost thing, which is basically your little companion in Destiny gameplay, um, that calls in your sparrow, calls in everything for you, and you know that's an amazing thing. It's a red one. It's actually a red one that talks to you and lights up. And in game, you get a red, um, red ghost, while everybody else has a white one. So if you watched the preview for the Ghost Edition on Destiny's YouTube channel, you already know what I'm talking about here. Um, what are superchargers? Superchargers are basically um, your character's abilities. My character was a hunter, which basically turned him into Super Saiyan 9000, and he would bring out this gold gun and just wreck face. It only gave you about three bullets. Um, you know that that was fine. You you could get a lot of things done in those three bullets. You know it's pretty amazing um, gun. And the Titan's ability is basically what I call the Hulk Smash. It will just smash the ground around you in a pretty big radius. And you know everything in that radius will probably die in one hit unless you jump high enough. Because you know that's when you get that double boost. So if you jump high enough, it will um, you will actually be able to avoid that attack. If you the Warlock special ability is basically he shoots this big void um, purple ball. And it will just kill anything instantly on spot. If you're in that radius, it will kill you. Um, <clears throat> even after it kills you, it left this ball on the ground. And for like a couple seconds, if you're around it, you'll take damage for it. And if you're around it for a long time and you're close to no health, you will end up dying. Um, weapons in this game, were they, you know, were they overpowered or were they not? I think Destiny did a great job balancing everything in the beta. There were some, even though you've seen a gun that had like... 50 damage and then you see another one with like 70 damage you know I, I don't think anything was above 65 in the beta due to the fact that you could only go to level 8 and most guns that were higher were you know <clears throat> were like 10 10 you know they, they were teasing us throughout the whole beta and I think that was one of their strong points you know getting you ready for the real game and you know noticing that you're only level 8 and you have like 60 level guns but then if you look at level 10 and so on you have like 300 attack damage now I don't really think the attack damage damage does anything in the beta due to the fact that you know people run like a gun like this that I have on this gameplay right now it was a 60 something attack damage which is the highest I've received and it's an uncommon weapon so it gave you an ability too and that's why you can see a camo and a um uh, ACOG scope on it is what I call it. Um, the snipers in this game were OP um, two shots. If you have a very good sniper, I think, or even whatever sniper, it was always two shots. And um, the sniper that I was using, I had a this sniper that I was using was called the Trojan, I think. 
and it was only like 45 attack damage but then I got a sniper that was uncommon level like 60 something damage but I preferred this sniper over anything just because of the fact when you scoped in it had a square when I had the higher tier one it was a uh, triangle kind of thing I didn't like that it looked like the dragon off and I don't like the dragon off whatsoever um, the turret that you see in front of me right now that New York City guy was using that was OP it has a shield and it just wrecked I will sit there you know even if nobody was coming I would just sit there and eventually everybody will come towards that part of the map just to go for B and since B is in an open area it's easy for people to get picked off with that turn if you're sitting on that turn uh, I already went through the thing um, is it worth buying what is in the limited edition what is in the ghost edition the ghost edition for destiny brings if you have a companion um, I don't know if I explained this I probably explained this already I don't, I don't know I don't, I, oh well ghost edition I'll explain it again ghost edition brings a uh, red a red um, real life red statue of the ghost companion in game that you have in destiny that brings out your sparrow brings out everything for you and um, you get a special red one in game now this ghost it, it's not just a toy it actually talks um, it has phrases kind of like a, a doll or something and it, it actually lights up blue that's pretty cool you also get books and it makes it look like a sci-fi fantasy from when you open the box it makes it look sci-fi fantasy kind of deal and it has books with like leather it's, I don't think it's real leather but it has like that leather feel and it takes you more back into the story and what is destiny and what is it about uh, as you can see I've been on this tank um, I did die on the tank already but you, as you can see I'm already using the tank again and I, I just go to town with this thing I just wreck mm, excuse me now what about class customizations how how is it like how does it feel destiny beta you know you would just play and you could get guns and guns for days you know guns were everywhere you could get whole new guns you can sell them for only about 15 and armor will only go for like five you know I didn't really understand that as you can see right there the guy shot the warlock shot that thing at me and you can see the little ball went there um, but the classes I think it's cool as the fact that you can just not like a gun like you can have this automatic 20 attack damage you can love it and then you just want to try out a pistol that you got but you don't like that pistol you can actually go in game in while you were in the game in the middle of warfare I could just stop right now go into the start menu switch the gun and it'll automatically appear I think that was the coolest thing about destiny and uh, um, call of Duty doesn't do that you even if you want to switch your gun you know you have to wait till you die um, Destiny's not like that it actually switches right there and then I think that was the coolest thing about destiny um, how is it playing with friends? You know, I gave two of my codes to two of my friends. Um, you know, if you had a code, you got two two extra ones in return when um, you decided to redeem your code. <clears throat> so I used to play, I play with both of my friends, and it's just fun playing a campaign by yourself. You know, and I thought campaign mode was more into it, like everywhere you go, you will see people, but um, actually certain places where you can't respawn, or if you do die when if you die when you have to respawn you have to start that you have to start that part over um, you have to actually go in at the same time for you guys to actually be registered as in the same mission and that's pretty cool but I do like the fact how people can actually just join you no matter what if it's your friend people can just join your fire team just join your team party up and just have a fun time and join a mission together and just play and I think that's what the coolest part of Destiny was and that was an amazing experience playing the beta and I'm really grateful for playing the beta you know what some people did it and um, my gun, uh, what Destiny Beta, it was two maps. Um, it was the moon that we're playing on right now, which had the vehicles, and then there was one where it was kind of like uh, a deserted factory kind of thing, a um, cave for the fallen. The fallen are the bad people, and um, I guess they're controlled by the darkness, something like that. And uh, this it's basically Conquest. Uh, what they let us play in Destiny multiplayer was Conquest, which was kind of like domination ground war stuff like that um, three flags capture it you know the back and forth the points went on forever as you can see my team is dominating here 15,000 points while the other team is only at 17,000 I mean not 17 7,000 barely breaking the 10,000 barrier and um, my team was just going in on this game as, you, as I said in the beginning of the video I recorded this video the last day and after I recorded this the destiny servers went down I was pretty lucky and um, <clears throat> You know, after I played this game, I tried to join another game, and it, it kept lagging me out. And then five, like about 
two minutes after that, it was when it said, oh, Destiny will be back November 9th. You know, purchase your game or go to here to uh, pre-order your gameplay. Um, you know, that's, I was, everybody was sad about that. Everybody's doing rebroadcast on Twitch right now. If you guys see Destiny on Twitch, you know, it's just free broadcast. It's nothing new. But Destiny, I think it's totally worth it. It's a, it's a really good game. I really recommend the game for anybody who likes um, you know, I'm, I'm a COD player. I don't like games like these. I, I played Halo once in a while, but I never really got into it. Um, you know, Destiny is the first game that I'm actually trying stuff like this. You know, I will play games besides Call of Duty all the time, but I will always go back to Call of Duty. I really never played more than about a month on another game. And um, Destiny is one of those games that is just amazing. You know, I I will probably be playing Destiny for months and months, and that's going to be a problem since Destiny comes out November 9th. November 9th and Call of Duty Events Warfare comes out, you know, the... The next month after that, the following month in November, is it? No. It's September? No. It comes out November, which, what am I talking about? That's two months, so I got enough time to play Destiny. I got enough time to level up and all that good stuff. Um, you know, I'm going to be doing Destiny gameplay um, as the game is coming out and all that. Um, you know, you guys don't have to worry about that. I'm going to be playing a lot of Destiny. I'm always capturing, you know, I neglected to record a lot of gameplay for the beta, but when the game actually comes out, I'm going to be recording a lot. Uh, the bikes and vehicles in the game are really overpowered. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ugh, got a sword. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna be recording a lot. You know, follow me or subscribe to me on YouTube if you guys want to see that. Or you know, yes, follow me. Um, and the links will always be down in the description. Or you can always go to my YouTube channel page, and um, it has the channel art, and you can see the channel art there. Yeah, the, I got an animated channel art, but you see the channel art, and as you can see, I have Twitch and all that. So if you guys enjoyed the video, you know, subscribe to me down below on you know that hit that subscribe button hit that like button it helps me out comment down below if you want to see i actually actually have a, a question and answer for you guys you know i'm thinking about a new name for youtube and i need your help guys but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and as much as i did playing destiny um tell me what you think about destiny down below in the in the comments and i'll see you guys later see ya bye